Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Siege Games, and today I've decided to rank the maps on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies in order from worst to best. Feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you like what you see here. Now, please keep in mind that these are my personal opinions, so they might not relate to what you think is the best or worst map. But anyways, let's get into it. Now coming in last place on my list as the worst map in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies is Zetsubo no Shima. With making plants and having to water them every round in order to get the easter egg or actually upgrade the KT4 and the tedious trials, this map can make you feel overwhelmed and exhausted. It should come as no surprise to anyone that this map comes in last, especially with all the glitches and bugs that make you die randomly or have your perks spawn on top of one another. The final reason I put this map at the bottom of my list was because of the spiders. Now I'm sure everyone watching will agree, the spiders on Zetsubo no Shima are terrible and make you want to die. They create those annoying cobwebs and screw up your train, or if you're trying to run away from a thrasher, you can get caught in a cobweb. With all that said, it's no wonder I put this map at the bottom of my list. For my second and last place map, I chose Shadows of Evil. Now, before everybody gets upset, I actually like this map a lot. It's just that I prefer the other maps more. On Shadows of Evil, I find the rituals are annoying and difficult, especially with the Marg with spawning every two times you do a ritual. It's a challenge to open pack on early rounds without decent weaponry to take care of those pesky Margwas. Shadows is a good map with cool new characters and a great new perk. It's just that I need to do something to go in this spot, and I like the Giant more than I like Shadows. Coming in third place as the map in the middle, I chose The Giant. When Black Ops 3 first dropped, I played a lot of The Giant with my friends. We would spend hours in the catwalk camping. That map is so good they remade it twice, and they had good reasoning behind it too. The map is very calm and easy to play. It's a great beginner's map. There aren't any buildables on this map, and the wonder weapon comes straight out of the box. As well as power is just as easy as turning on a switch, unlike in Zetsubo or Shadows. For my second best map slot, I chose Gorod Krovi. I love this map. It's so much fun to play and a great story behind it. I love that they went back to a World War II setting for this map. While pack isn't as easy to unlock as on the giant, it's still relatively easy to unlock and lots of fun to do. One of the things I like most about this map is the dragons. I think it's awesome that you can fly in a dragon, in zombies no less. Another thing I love about this map is the Gauntlet of Siegfried, which is the buildable specialist weapon. It's so much fun to unlock, and I really enjoy the wave-based zombie idea, and hope that Treyarch keeps it in mind for DLC 4 coming in September. Now for the number one best spot, I chose Der Eisendrock. This map is just so much fun. It's great for high rounds with the lightning bow, and training is a breeze on that map. Der Eisendrock is my personal favorite on Call of Duty Black Ops 3, because I just want to keep playing it. Building the bows is an incredible amount of fun that adds to the aspect of Der Eisendrock perfectly. The bows are somewhat like the staffs and Origins, in which there are four of them and you must build them. But that's all part of the fun. The easter egg, while difficult, is very fun and very rewarding when you finish it. It feels great to have accomplished such an easter egg. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, I did put a lot of thought and effort into making this video. It took me a few hours, so feel free to leave a like and subscribe for similar content. Also, leave it in the comments below what list you'd like me to make next. See you guys in the next one.